How's everybody doing? I want to welcome you to our live chat today. We are the Astute Tourists, and I am Jimmy, and I'm here. I got my hat on, and I got my tropical shirt. We're going to be talking about tips and tricks for your staycation during these troubled times. Uh, we uh, can't go out too many places. Everything seems to be closed because of what's going on in the world. And today we're going to talk about um, some staycation tips, uh, things you can do at home with the kids, and um, keep yourself from going stir crazy. We're also uh, we're going to be hitting up the CDC and just going over some of the stuff that they're uh, requesting for you to do. Um, and hopefully we'll get some people in the chat. Looks like we only got one in the chat right now, so we're going to give it a try and wait for a few of you to come in. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Let us know that you're in. If you want to uh, say hi in the chat, please go ahead and uh, let me know how the mic is and uh, how things are sounding. Um, this is uh, really our second um, real um, live stream that we've done. Uh, we've done a couple extras uh, before, but um, we're hoping that uh, we get some people in here today. And if not, then, you know, it is what it is. But... Uh, we're here at uh, Astute Tourist Headquarters, and um, we're going to be uh, making the best of what's happening on uh, these uh, troubled times we get going on. So let me know if you're here. Give us a thumbs up or uh, say something in the chat. Let me know that you guys are in. Looks like I got two people in there. And there's Nick Dog. Hey, Nick. I'm glad uh, things are sounding good. Um, let me know about the desktop audio. Let's see if we can get this going. And uh, oh, looks like I turned it off. Well, let's try that again. Can you hear the music, Nick? Let me know if the volume's gonna come up or if it's too loud for my voice. A little steel drums going now. Looks like I've only got two people in the chat. One of them's me. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. We're hanging out here today at uh, Stu Torres Central. Little coffee. All right, good, excellent, thank you. Is that a good volume? I'll try to keep that music going. But um, we'll wait for a few people to come into the chat and see if they're gonna come in. If not, we're just gonna hang out and we're gonna talk. And we'll get this stream going. Like I said, we're gonna be uh, giving some tips on your staycation since uh, there's really not a lot of traveling going on right now, either domestic or abroad, but um, we're going to try to uh, maybe give you some tips on some things you can do if you're staying home with the kids, because everybody seems to be out of school and a lot of people are out of work today. If you're just coming in, welcome to the chat. Let us know you're here. Give us, uh, give us something in the chat. Give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't uh, done the thumbs up on the live stream, please do. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. You want to hit that bell icon. That way you'll get notified anytime that we are uh, putting out a new video or we do another live stream. We're just going to be hanging out today. I appreciate everybody coming in and hanging out with us. And uh, if you want to talk with us, that's fine. If not, just hang back and enjoy uh, some of the things that we're doing. Like I said, we're going to be hanging out today here. And um, we got uh, 
our video here in the background, our tropical video, and I got my uh, Hawaiian shirt on. We're going to pretend that uh, we're at a tropical paradise here at Astute Taurus Central in the studio. And um, hoping you guys are digging it. Looks like we got five in the chat. If you guys want to come up and uh, give us a comment, uh, like I said, you want to do some thumbs up, like our uh, channel, subscribe, give us a thumbs up and like the stream. That definitely helps us out. And um, we're going to be chilling here for, I don't know, as long as it takes, uh, at least an hour we'll be here. And uh, we may be um, uh, going over some tips and tricks or anything else that you guys want to bring in to the uh, chat. If anybody's got anything they want to say, come on up and let me know. We, um, one of our, uh, our first live streams here, uh, it's actually our second of, uh, that we've done here on the Astute Tourist. Uh, we're, we're getting close to uh, a thousand subscribers. We're just over 850. I want to thank everybody, uh, that subscribed to this point. And if you haven't, tell all your friends that, uh, you're watching the Astute Tourist channel and give us a su subscribe and a thumbs up and a like comment on any of our videos um <clears throat> it does count if you watch uh, our videos if you want to play our playlist um there's one called awesome videos and if you want to just have that playing in the background uh, um, please do that because um, that counts for us for watch time and um that'll help us out greatly so um uh, you know we're Talking about staycation. Anybody, um, is anybody hunkered down at home? Uh, they got the kids at home. And, and uh, if you got any ideas or, or things that you're doing to make your time at home a little bit easier, uh, let us know in the chat. And uh, we'll certainly uh, talk about it here on Vacation Nation. Um, we hope everybody's... Uh, Like I said, we are on Vacation Nation. This is our, uh, our astute live stream channel. And uh, come on up in the chat. Let us know you're here. Looks like we got five in. It'd be great to talk with you guys. And, uh, you know, right now, uh, it's a troubled time we get going on with things happening around the world and, and here in, uh, in the U.S. Uh, Seems to be a toilet paper shortage, which I don't quite understand, but it uh, uh, seems like people, um, you know, they could be hoarding uh, canned goods or something, but uh, they feel the need, they need to hoard some toilet paper, so not sure what that's about. Let me know if you guys are in need of anything. If you, uh, are you all stocked up? You got things you're doing? How's things where you are at the grocery stores? Um, hopefully things are going pretty well there. And um, let's see if, uh, you know, hopefully things are going well where you're at. I wanted to talk about some things, uh, like I said. We're going to talk about your staycation. Let's treat this time at home like it's a, a good thing to take advantage of the time at home. You know, you just don't have to cook and clean when you're home. Although, one of the good tips is trying out new recipes. I know I like to cook, and uh, my wife and my son who lives here with us, we all take turns at the cooking, and we try new recipes. We have plenty of cookbooks, and um, there's plenty of recipes you can get online. And it may be a good time while we're here at home to try out something uh, new to eat. You know, you. There's some interesting things that we can do uh, with the food that we have, it's something new. And um, the other day we made uh, a recipe called bourbon chicken and rice. It was really good, uh, very tasty. Um, that's something that we've cooked before, but we don't have it very often. And it uh, was delicious. And um, you know, it's, uh, it's, a good time to try out a new recipe if you like to cook like I said uh, you could do make some interesting food with what you got in the pantry there's a lot to do out there um, if you look up online 
Um, speaking of uh, staycations, you know, one of the things that um, you probably should do is uh, treat, treat your time at home if you want. Make it like a vacation and uh, you can decorate your home a little bit if you want a tropical feel or, um, you know, you can do some things like that. Like we got the, uh, we got the scenery in the background here and I got the music playing. Something I like is going to the islands in the Caribbean and um, I enjoy a little bit of reggae music and uh, the, the tropics. We were down there in January down in Mexico in Cozumel and uh, we had a great time. It was warm. It's uh, not quite spring here in the Northeast and um, you know it's uh, days are getting a little bit warmer but they're not quite uh, not quite warmed up yet. We have a tiki bar here at the house that's outside on the deck and um, we haven't opened it up yet. We had a little bit of snow the other day, uh, nothing that stayed on the ground. So we know spring's coming, but um, hopefully we'll be able to open up that soon and maybe we can do a live stream from the, uh, from the Astute Tiki Bar, which is a lot of fun. Um, we hang out and we, uh, we have our tropical drinks as I got here. Trying to get in the festive mood. Figured I'd put the music on for everybody. Come on in. Say hi in the chat. Let us know that you're here. And uh, let us know uh, what you think. If you want to uh, talk about anything. Like I said, we got some tips and tricks for a staycation. If anybody wants to... Uh, if anybody wants to um, add anything to the chat, please let us know. We're here, and uh, we got the live stream happening. We're up here, like I said, at the Vacation Nation at the Astute Tourist Headquarters, and uh, we're hunkered down here. And if anybody um, wants to hit that subscribe button, please do. Give us a thumbs up in the on the live stream. Let us know uh, how we're doing. Anything we should change? Anything that uh, you want to add? What's everybody doing uh, during this uh, these times here where there's not a lot to do and we got the social distancing going on? Um, how many people are essential workers? Let me know in the chat. And uh, like I said, we're gonna just talk about tricks and hopefully help each other out. And that's why we're here anyway. You know, we're all about helping each other out in these times. Give a friendly word or some encouraging words to someone if you're feeling a little down during these times. But I say it's a good opportunity for us to just uh, chill out, get to know each other a little bit better. And um, yeah, let us know what's going on. You know, if you want to... Uh, hang out at your house. What are you guys watching on TV? Are you renting any movies? Do you have any movies there? Have you uh, queued anything up for your DVR? Maybe record some stuff and watch it later. Um, I'd like to see the uh, last Star Wars movie. I didn't get a chance to go into the theater and see that, that so that may be one we're going to pull up and, um, and watch while we're doing our thing here at, uh, at the Astute Headquarters. And um, we do binge watch some shows. I know The Witcher is a, a very good show that's out on Netflix. And it's based upon a, uh, a video game and a series of books um, based on Polish folklore. And it's uh, a lot of fun. It's got that Game of Thrones kind of feel to it. I like it a lot better. There's more, uh, there's more creatures and monsters and things and a lot more magic in it. Um, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't got a chance to see The Witcher, I think you should check it out. And um, let us know if you're in the chat. Let us know you're here. Let me know how things are uh, going. If you want to give the chat a thumbs up, that'd be great. Thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And you can hit that bell icon. You could subscribe and hit the bell channel. That way you'll get notified anytime that we're... Uh, putting out a new video or we have a, uh, a, a live chat coming up. Like I said, this is uh, one of my first attempts at it. Hopefully we'll get a few people in. 
So if you're in here, welcome. Like I said, let us know you're here. But um, let us know what you're doing when you're hanging at home. Uh, are you going out anywhere? Or is anybody doing any hiking? Do you have any trails where you are? Are you in the city? I imagine if you're in the city, it's a little tougher to get out and uh, do some of that social distancing. But uh, where we live, we live in the country, and there's a lot of hiking trails. And um, you certainly can get out and uh, do some walking, take the dog out, do some running. And uh, don't forget to keep some distance if you see somebody, you know, handshaking's out of the question right now. Is they're, What they're telling us is to keep a, about a six-foot uh, space between each other, which isn't bad. Um, you know, human contact's a good thing, but if, uh, if we can't uh, physically touch somebody right now, um, it's uh, okay. It's all right to uh, just say hi and um, check some people out. Like I said, during this uh, time, you may want to watch some movies at night. I know here in the country, we can have fires outside at night, so we do that a lot. It's nice to hang out and have a couple cocktails. Like I said, we got our tiki drinks here that we can have. And um, have a fire outside, chill up by the fire. The days are getting warmer, the spring's on its way. By the calendar, it's still winter time, but we've had some days here that are 70 degrees, and that's a little bit rare for the Northeast this time of year. It's only the middle of March, um, and uh, it's a great time. It's good to see that most of the snow is gone, and um, let us know what it's like where you are. Do you live down south? Is it warm where you're at? Say hi to, the, to us in the chat if you'd like. Let us know you're here. Uh, looks like I got three in the chat right now, so we're just going to hang out, chill out, listen to the songs. We'll get some more people up. We'll do a little bit more talking. Let me know what's happening. Let me know what you're doing to keep yourself busy. There's plenty of work and chores to be done, but that's not a lot of fun. What are you guys doing to have some fun here while we're, uh, we're hanging out at home? Like I said, there's not a lot of vacationing going on. It's a good time to start planning. I don't think uh, this is going to last for too long, but you never know. As long as we, um, we all do what uh, we're supposed to do, practice some social distancing, like I said, no handshaking. And, um, you know, if we keep the contact down to... Uh, to a limit, hopefully this will blow over soon enough. You know, I've been watching uh, the president and the federal government on TV every day. They come up and the doctors are telling us what to do. The CDC has uh, given us a lot of um, good uh, tips and things that we should be doing. You know, if you're at work, uh, who's um, who's still going to work? If uh, I'm an essential worker. I work in healthcare. I go to work every day. And uh, we have a lot of precautions that we have to take. Um, you know, every day we take precautions, but um, we have, a, have to be a little bit more diligent these times with what's going on. And um, so at work, we have a, a lot of disinfecting we're doing. We use a lot of Lysol during the day. And uh, one of the things I do when I first get into work, I'm the first one there. I, uh, I spray Lysol and I wipe down all the doorknobs, countertops, uh, the light switches, um, anything where people are going to have, um, you know, contact with their hands. Um, you should be sneezing in your, uh, in your, um, in your arm or in a, a, a tissue. Oh, that's good. Hey, Alex. Good to see you there. Um, you're going to hit the ocean today. That's a good thing to do. I don't I imagine there's not a lot uh, open there today, but um, there's nothing like taking a ride out to the coast. We're about 30 minutes, 35 minutes from the coastline, and uh, it's, a good, uh, it's a good time to go out. Just uh, sit by the surf. It's a nice day. 
And um, yeah, Nicholas says he's uh, he does carpentry, and uh, there's not a lot of people out on the job sites. He's saying that a lot of the commercial jobs are being shut down, though, and that's true. Um, even uh, like I said in in my job, that you know I'm in healthcare and I work for the fire department. Um, we've um, limited our contact to a lot of our commercial occupancies in town. Of course, the restaurants are only serving uh, takeout food and delivery. Um, you know, the bars and restaurants, as far as dining in, they're uh, they're shut down for now. So there's not a lot of contact happening, but um, we just need to be diligent and do what we're we're asked to do. Like I said, um, it's good to practice uh, good disinfectant um, practices. I use the Lysol and um, I spray down all the doorknobs and the light switches, the countertops and that before anybody gets into work. And um, even us at, at work, as far as coworkers, um, we're not shaking hands and we're not, uh, giving hugs or anything to each other. Just trying to keep a little bit of a distance. Some people may not like that, not not having the contact with people, but the uh, the more of us that practice this uh, distancing and we don't um, have physical contact with our friends and coworkers, uh, the quicker this is gonna um, blow over. And hopefully uh, in a you know couple weeks to, to a month, this will all be done and we'll be back to normal. Let me know how you're doing on supplies out there. People um, got enough food and uh, you got enough uh, toilet paper and whatnot. Again, I know there uh, seem to be some uh, people that uh, thought that buying up all the toilet paper was a good idea. I'm not sure what's going through their head, but um, I know our grocery stores are open and around here they've, uh, they have special hours for seniors. They're opening up around 5.30 and staying open from uh, 5.30 to 7.30 or 8 o'clock to allow some of the senior folks in to get the supplies they need before they open it up to uh, the rest of the general public. And um, Alex says he's heard that uh, some of the construction uh, people and management have been donating N95 masks and... um, to some of the hospitals. And um, I heard the same thing. Um, it's a great idea. Uh, supplies for the essential workers, healthcare workers, hospitals, doctors, nurses, uh, EMTs, um, LNAs, uh, people, uh, firefighters. Um, the supplies aren't going to last forever. And uh, I know the president enacted the wartime bill, which uh, they put out in the 50s during Korea to help. Uh, some of the production of things that are needed during this time that may get depleted quick. You know, uh, nitro gloves and N95 masks, regular masks to put on patients. Um, we could talk about masks a little bit since we brought it up. Um, if you think that wearing a mask out in the public is, is going to help, it's really not. Um, you should refrain from that. It's best to anybody that's contracted the virus. It's best for them to wear a mask. That way they're not going to be, you know, spraying anything into the air when you talk or if you sneeze. You should be sneezing into your sleeve and coughing into your sleeve or into a a tissue or a napkin. Um, It's really good to practice good good disinfecting practices. Hand washing. um, Hand washing is a good thing. Yeah, you know, Nick, I think you're right. Um, We all have to help each other out. I mean, when it comes down to it, we only have each other. Um, You can't rely on the government to help us out with everything. Of course, hopefully financially, they're going to help us out. I know some of the banks are uh, uh, allowing help if you're having trouble uh, paying your rent or making your mortgage. And people with with, uh, car loans and things, they're doing a little forgiveness during this time. Um, let us know if there's any programs that, uh, that, um, you're, uh, having and you're getting help with. Um, I know we got something from our mortgage, mortgage company that, uh, they did say if we were having any issues to let them know, cause they'll certainly give us a hand and, and have a program that, uh, would work for us. 
but yeah, helping each other out is, is really important. Um, I know uh, just in the town next door, somebody was going into one of the local stores and they were buying up some food and then they would put it out on the table in front of their house and they were um, allowing people in need that if it was something that you needed there to come and get it. And then people were bringing stuff that they wanted to donate. They maybe were taking something they needed and they left something they maybe had a, either doubles or they had a little bit more quantity of. And that's always a good idea. Again, you know, if we can't rely on uh, ourselves, then it's who are we going to rely on? It's important that we help each other out. You know, people shouldn't be fighting and arguing over things in the stores. If there's, uh, you know, two or three of the same item, you know, buy one. And uh, let somebody else have a chance. You know, if you have enough uh, uh, paper products at home, maybe wait until, you know, the next time that you go to the store to maybe buy something. That way uh, the people that have not can get something. That's a good idea. Um, it's really important that we help each other, you know. As long as you maintain that six-foot distance between people, Maybe a good idea if you have wipes or some disinfectant too to, to bring with you and wipe down the handle in the carriage. Um, you know, because uh, again, help each other out. Maybe once you're done with the carriage, wipe it down afterwards before you leave. That way the person that comes up to get it um, and they touch it there. You know, it's, it's a good idea anyways. I know that some of the grocery stores around here, they have antiseptic wipes that you can uh, pull one or two off before you grab the carriage and clean the handle off. Um, it's a good idea. Uh, let me know if there's uh, what you do or if there's something different you do when you go to the store. Uh, good to see we got five in the, oh, we got six in the chat now. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Give us a like, that'll help us out. Uh, like I said, we are your astute Taurus and I am Jimmy. Uh, we'll Glad you came into the chat today or the live stream. Um, this is uh, our second real live stream, um, second of many to come. And um, I was hoping to bring you some vacation tips and things, but there's not a lot of traveling going on. But there's certainly some things you can do while you're home. If you're hunkered down and you're not an essential worker and, and you're not going to work, or if you're working from home and you're spending time with the kids, you know, let us know what you're doing. What, what are you doing to pass the time and, and to make um, your time at home fun? Uh, you doing any yard work? Again, I know spring is uh, not quite here. It's just around the corner, though. We don't have a lot of uh, snow on the ground here. And I'm hoping to maybe go out and do some raking. Maybe pull the leaf blower out. Give me an opportunity to get my yard cleaned up. But we are here at the Astute Taurus headquarters and digging some of this reggae music we got going, like I said. We're here, uh, not really on the islands, but uh, we are got our window to the islands right behind us. And we're going to make the best of, uh, you know, the situation that we have right now. One good place to check out if you're still online. Hey, thanks, Alex. Yeah, we got some... Uh, some coral blue and yellow lighting behind us and uh, we got the fairy lights up ab above us. I got the lights shining. That's my world map there. So uh, it's one of the props uh, we use in some of the videos we make. And um, you know, it's just something fun that we're doing. I'm really glad you're here. We appreciate you. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you can. If anybody wants to um, you know, tell us what you're doing. You got any tricks that you're doing to make the time? Alex said you're going to the ocean. What? When you going to the ocean? You doing that today, or are you gonna do it tomorrow, or um, when you? What part of the coast are you going to? You heading to Hampton Beach? You're gonna go up to Maine? We live here in New Hampshire. We're on the sea coast, or close to the sea coast, and. Uh, we got the tri-state area. We have Vermont, which is close, and Maine, which is right on the ocean. In Hampshire, we have we have about 15 miles of shoreline here in New Hampshire. It's not a lot, but what we do have is beautiful. 
Like I said, there's not a lot at the beach open, especially this time of year anyway. But I know that some of the, um, uh, I know that uh, some of the businesses that would normally be open there even during the winter, they're probably closed up. It may be a good time for you to go and just chill out. I don't know how warm it's going to be there. I think it's going to be in the, the mid 40s uh, inland here today. And uh, it may be a little chilly, but if uh, you dress warm enough, it's always a good time to go to the beach. Looks like we got a sunny day out there today, which is uh, different from the last couple days. We've had a lot of rain. And um, although yesterday it was like 65 degrees, but it was, uh, it was rainy, so it was warm. Today the sun's out and it's not so warm. I think the high is gonna be about 45. Uh, so you're thinking about going to Hampton Beach this afternoon? Awesome, that's cool. You guys packing a, a picnic? You're gonna bring the bring the blanket out and sit on the sand? Or are you just gonna drive up and down the coast? It's a pretty good day for it. I think uh, that may be something we're gonna have to do here is maybe we'll take a ride up to the coast and make a video and feature that. We haven't been to Hampton yet and featured that on the channel. Um, we've certainly been to some cool beaches, and we haven't been to the beach we have right here where I live. So, um, if uh, you're thinking about taking a ride out someplace where you are, let us know. Are you in the mountains, or are you down south? Do you live in the city where you're at? Let us know what you're doing. You know, it's probably not a good idea to... Go to the library. In fact, most of them aren't open anyways, but if you have some good books at home and you're reading, if somebody likes to read, I know Colleen, she's an avid reader. She reads a lot. Let us know what you're reading in the chat. And, um, you know, let me know what you're doing. I just uh, made Nicholas. Uh, he's got a blue wrench for us today. Made him a moderator in the chat. That way he can help me out if we get any spammers in there. Um, one of the things that we don't do in the chat, just to let everybody know, is um, we don't put numbers in the chat. If you want to let me know how many subscribers you have, you got to spell the words out. So if you have 50, you should spell it out as 50 and don't put the numerics in there. Um, that's considered spam by YouTube. Um, another thing is, is don't say sub or, um, I got ya. It's, uh, it's good if you guys want to, um, come in the chat and grab each other up, check each other's, um, channels out. In fact, uh, we encourage that, um, but you need to do it right. Make sure that you, um, you go to their channel and you subscribe and then find a video and watch the video in full and, and uh, give that a thumbs up and like that video and then comment on it. And then if you wanna let somebody know in the chat, just um, type their name in and, uh, and give them a heart, show them a heart emoji in there. Yeah, Nick, lobster roll would be good, wouldn't it? Even this time of year. Um, being here in New England and very close to Maine, we are lucky where we get New England lobsters and Maine lobsters, and they're delicious. I mean, we can buy them right here in the grocery store, but there's nothing like going to one of our local uh, clam shacks or uh, seafood places where you can get a, a really big lobster roll. They're very, very good and delicious. It's one of the things that we like to do in the summertime is you can drive over to the coast and you can stop at uh, some of the docks over there and you can, uh, you can actually meet the fishermen coming right in and you can buy the lobster right off the dock. That's a fun thing to do. And um, if you're staying at the beach, you got a hotel over there or something, you may want to bring your, your grill with you and a, and a lobster pot, have yourself a clam bake. Lots of seafood to be had around here. The food is awesome. Yes, Alex, I'm sure they are. I bet a lot of them. I mean, some of them, they, they don't have dine-in service anyway. 
Um, they usually take out your drive up and put your water in the window. And I bet there's some up there. Are you going to get a lobster roll today? Or get some seafood while you're out there? Or, or like I said, are you, are you packing a picnic? What are you going to do when you head out to the coast? You guys, um, you guys going to stop and get something to eat? Or are you going to just hang out on the beach and listen to the surf? Watch some of the ships go by? Hang out on the rocks? It's a, you may be able to catch some of the seals if you go to Portsmouth. Uh, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Um, uh, you can see the seals out there on the rocks. That's a fun thing. Especially if you have kids. You can bring them... Uh, take some pictures. Take some pictures of the seals. The kids love to do that. And if, you're, if you fish and you like to uh, surf cast... It's a good time to head out to the ocean. I know the striper may be running this time of year. And uh, you can catch some flounder, which are always delicious. Um, yeah, that's that's a good point, Alex. You know, it's uh, part of the thing about supporting each other is definitely buying local. Um, I know our, our restaurants and our local stores, they're going to have a tough time right now, even though that uh, um, they're allowing and supplying takeout and delivery, you know, you should support them. Even if, um, you know, you normally would go out and instead you're hunkering down and you're gonna cook at home, you may want to um, maybe get takeout. There's plenty of pizza places and, um, and uh, restaurants. I know there's several restaurants around that are having specials right now. Uh, we got a place over in Raymond called uh, the Tuckaway, where they're actually having uh, uh, meat specials. Where they have a uh, there's a butcher there, and you can get some steak tips and other meat to go, already marinated, and um, so you may want to check out some of your local places for that. Yeah, it's a good thing. Um, you know, uh, it is a good thing to buy local. Again, it's um, you're helping support uh, the local infrastructure. Um, you know, there is a threat, and we don't know how long that this situation is going to last. And there's a threat out there that some of our uh, our local grocers and our local restaurateurs um, could have some problems. And I would hate to see these people uh, lose their business because of um, what's going on. That would be awful. So it's up to us again. We're helping each other out, and that's one of the things we need to do. And I support buying local. You know, instead of going on to your mail order places like Amazon and those, um, you should consider buying local at least some of the things that you can buy. I'm, I'm not saying don't, you know, don't buy online. Um, there may be some things that you can't get local that you, you know, you just can't avoid. You may have to go online to get. But, um, it's really a good idea to, to support our local people um, and, and do what you can. Um, fishing is a great idea, Nick. Um, I think it's a great idea. I'm going to get my fishing license here, and uh, it'll give us something to do during the downtime. Um, I play in a local band, and because of all the bars are closed, there's no bands, no bands um, in uh, bars right now. I may do, uh, I'm trying to see if I can maybe get together with my bandmates and maybe we'll do a live stream and we'll play some music for you. Who knows, I got my guitar here in the back. I may uh, just uh, pick it up and play a couple songs later, but I was hoping we get a few more people in the chat. Looks like we got six in the chat right now, so I wanna welcome you to the Astute Tourist Channel. It's what we like to call Vacation Nation. It's our live stream and um, you know, it's just something that something fun that we like to do. So, um, and now this. our channel it's something that we like to do you know we just hopefully bring you guys some news and um, uh, destination news vacation news some travel stuff not a lot of traveling going on right now 
Um, not a lot of traveling going on, but uh, hopefully, um, you know, this is going to end and we'll get back to our normal traveling and, and bring you guys some new destination videos. Although I like, Alex, your idea of heading out to the seacoast. That may be something we can do and we'll make a video out there. I was also going to maybe go around to some of the local grocers and um, see what it's like in the stores, see what's missing off the shelves. I haven't been out there myself in a week or so. I know that Colleen um, has gone out and done some stuff uh, and done some shopping and you know she I know last week she had to go to three or four different stores to get the things that we needed and um, you know that sucks uh, it's too bad you can't get your one-stop shop down we just you know it's up to all of us not to hoard things just get the things that you need and don't be going out and, and stocking up too much on things you know uh, thinking this is an apocalypse or something you know go to the grocery store get what you need and come home and that way you'll be a little bit there for everybody again we're all in this together and um, it's important that we we take care of each other you know don't forget to uh, support each other we gotta you know send some love out to everybody if you have a neighbor who's having a hard time and uh, um, Tears for Fears, Alex. You want to hear some Tears for Fears? I'm not prepared to do that right now unless I had the band with me. A little hard to do it on my acoustic, but um, if we do do a live stream, maybe we could do something like that, you know? Um, I'm going to see what uh, my bandmates are like and see how they're feeling. Maybe we can get together and we can live stream uh, some three old guys for you on the Astute Taurus channel just to give you some entertainment I know a lot of my friends have been doing their live streams on Facebook and um, I'd like to keep it to uh, YouTube because that's what we do we have our own channel here and uh, it's good that we uh, we put the time into our channel into YouTube so maybe I'll bring in the three old guys that's the name of my band we'll get those get those old guys together and uh, maybe play some music um, we'll see. We'll see what's happening. Maybe we'll have to Skype each other. I know there's a way that we can Skype and bring guests up on the um, on the stream. Um, I haven't quite figured that out how to do that yet, but um, soon I will. And uh, maybe we can do that. And I'd like to be able to bring people up in the chat. You can come on and be on the panel with with me. I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet, but we'll um, we'll get there. We definitely will get there. Um, so it's good, and uh, I'm glad you guys are with us. I appreciate it. Looks like we got six up in the chat, and um, if anybody wants to. Come up and, and chat with us. Please let us know what you're doing. Let us know what you're doing to pass the time. I, hopefully you're not uh, doing too many chores at home, although they all need to get done. But you should be uh, taking the time to have some fun. You know, it's life can be stressful as it is, but these are stressful times we're living in. Everyone's concerned about what's going on, concerned about their health concerned about uh, making sure you get enough supplies and not but if we all stick together and take some of these tips like we've been talking about you know going to the grocery store and just buying what you need you know don't don't be going in like some of the people I've seen and they, they got eight shopping carts full of stuff and you know they're stocking up for a year's worth of stuff you know the supply chain is there I watched something on the news yesterday. The truckers are saying that the supply is there and the supply chains are there. It's just that it's hard for them to keep up with uh, the demand because people are, you know, they're hoarding uh, our goods, especially paper products and antiseptics and whatnot. Um, there's plenty of tips and tricks online that you can find to make your own antiseptic hand wipes. And uh, I know if you use a 
70% alcohol and, and some aloe gel. You can make your own hand sanitizer. Um, and people get creative. They put a little bit of perfume or something that smells good in there. Um, maybe some lilac water or something to make it smell nice. Um, yeah, that's a good question, Alex. What is everybody else doing later on? I know I'm going to try to get outside. You know, the weather's good. And I, I do have some yard work that I want to do. But for me, that's kind of like a vacation in itself. I, I enjoy doing my yard work. Um, maybe do some leaf blowing, although the ground needs to dry out a little bit for that. We've, Like I said, we've had rain for the last few days. And um, maybe I'll do some raking. I have a couple trees that blew down this winter. I can certainly get out the saw and we can chop those up. And who knows, maybe tonight it's a good night to mix up a pitcher full of cocktails and have a little uh, little burn tonight. Sit out by the fire. And uh, that would be fun too. In fact, that sounds like a, a really good idea. Uh, we're able to do that where we live. We live in the country. We're living in the words. Um, Uh, as far as the alcohol goes, Nick, I've heard isopropyl alcohol will work. What I'm being told is um, 60 or 70 percent alcohol is best. Um, I've even heard of people using grain alcohol. Um, somebody was saying Everclear, but uh, I certainly don't want to give out any bad information on here. So I would um, I would go to the CDC's website. In fact, um, I think I have them here. Let's see if I can bring that up. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can bring that up. Uh, where is it now? So this is just something I wanted to share with everybody. As you can see, um, this is something they talk about. Uh, they encourage people to do in the workplace. You know, keeping the workplace safe and encouraging your employees to practice good hygiene. So, you know, like we've all pretty much been doing for the last couple of weeks is to stop handshaking. Use other contact methods. You know, a good wave is good. I know I've been seeing people online. They've been tapping shoes or tapping elbows. And that's okay, too. But if you're sneezing in your elbow, that may be not a good thing to do. I know a good greeting. I saw Prince Charles... On a video the other day, you know, he was um, he was putting his hands together and uh, just greeting people like that, giving them a little bow. Um, you know, just a high and a wave, I think, is a good thing. Um, and like I said, um, you know, if you can clean your hands when you get to work, I know, like I told you, one of the things I've been doing is I've been washing all the doorknobs and... Um, all the surfaces at work, the light switches and things, I disinfect them. We have Lysol, and Lysol is, uh, is um, supposedly effective um, uh, for killing a lot of germs. Um, create good habits, you know, avoid touching your face and cover your coughs and sneezes, which that's something we should be doing anyways. I mean, you know, when you cough, don't, don't just cough out into the air or you sneeze. You should be covering your face. Even if you just have the regular regular cold, uh, you know, you don't want to spread that stuff around. Uh, it's bad enough during, you know, normal times and people get sick. So we should be practicing these hygiene um, uh, practices um, all the time. You know, disinfect the doorknobs, the tabletops, desktops, handrails regularly. I know for us that are in healthcare, we do that all the time. I know Alex, you're in healthcare, and you're uh, you guys must do that a lot at work. Um, we do it here at home. Um, you know, be careful with meetings and travel. I know there's not a lot of that going on. I know people have been um, doing video conferencing. That's a good idea. Um, you know, my folks live in Florida, and we Skype with them all the time. So maybe um, maybe if you have a business meeting coming up, it's probably a good idea to do some conferencing. Uh, via the uh, internet, using the Skype or some sort of conferencing app, you know, um, it's probably not good to do any business travel right now. Although I know that the airlines are, um, they're still running. There's a lot of people coming home from where they've been on vacation. Um, they're still trying to get home. But uh, some people may be stuck where they're at, but um, 
you know, they're going to make it back. But um, maybe traveling is something you want to keep the local, like Alex is doing. He's going to head out to the coast. Practice your social distancing. You know, handle food carefully. Limit your food sharing. So, you know, don't be... You, you touched all your food you put in your lunch pail and, and whatnot, in your lunch bag. So maybe you want to keep that for yourself. Unless it's in a package or something. Uh, if you have a cafeteria at work, you know, you may want to strengthen the health screenings there. I know a lot of them have hand, and sa hand sanitizer outside the doors before you get there. So don't forget to use that. Um, but hand washing is a good thing, even if you use sanitizer, because you're basically killing the bacteria, and then that bacteria doesn't go anywhere. That dead bacteria is on your hands. So make sure that you wash your hands with hot water and soap. And um, you know how long do you wash your hands? They're telling you to sing happy birthday. Uh, to yourself a couple times and, and make sure to get your uh, your nail beds and put them in the palm of your hand and scrub them good on both hands and if you feel sick stay home you know even if you're an essential worker and you get sick you need to stay home it's not worth getting everybody else sick um, Alex is saying that he uh, he does it every four hours and sometimes even every two depending on um, What's happening with the patients there? I know that he um, he works in a uh, nursing home, so they have a lot of residents there. But uh, uh, that's something that they may have to do. But if if you're still going to work, just make sure that you're uh, using good um, uh, antiseptics and, and and good disinfecting practices. You know, they talk about keeping the schools safe. There's not any schools open right now, so we're going to skip over that. Let's talk about doing the things at home. Again, cleaning your doors. Clean them regularly, the door handles. Like I said, if you have any Lysol or even just some alcohol on a, on a towel or a, a, a cloth, just wipe the doors down, the light switches. Create these good habits. Try not to touch your face all the time, your eyes and your mouth. Again, if you sneeze and you cough, you should cover up your face. Um, you know, opening the windows now, the warm days are coming, and they're saying that once the warmer weather comes, this is going to be helpful. Um, it's good to get ventilation, some cross ventilation in the house, so we get some days that are up close to 60, maybe it's a good idea to open the windows. Open them up and uh, get some of that fresh air from the outside. Fresh air is a good thing, it's definitely not going to help, uh, not going to hurt rather, it's going to help. So. Um, when you're in the kitchen, you know, clean your utensils, clean your surfaces. I mean, you should be doing that anyways, any way you're preparing food, especially if you're preparing, you know, raw meat and chicken and that. Um, you know, you should be disinfecting those, those surfaces, disinfect that stuff. Um, we don't want to get sick, and um, I certainly don't want to get sick at, uh, any time of the year. So it's a good time to... Um, <laughs> you know, get good good habits and, and practice that. You know, provide a protected space for vulnerable household members. If somebody is sick, maybe you want to keep them in the in the bedroom where they can get some rest and they're not running around the house, you know, help them, provide for them. I mean, if you're living with somebody that gets sick, you're pretty much in contact with them anyway, but you can, you can prevent yourself from getting sick by cleaning the things that these folks uh, come in contact with. The TV remotes are good, and the uh, things like that, your iPad and your telephones, you can use a little bit of that disinfectant on them. It's not going to hurt. And, uh, hey, Gracie, glad to see you. Come on in. Excellent. We got 14 in the chat now. Good to see everybody. Good morning. Good morning, folks. We're glad you came in. You're tuned to the Astute Taurus channel. And um, thanks for coming in. This is our show. We like to call it Vacation Nation. And uh, usually it's, um, it's something that we do 
uh, on a regular basis. We talk about vacation and destination news, but uh, right now, not a lot of people are are out doing their thing. If you're just coming in and you're uh, you want to hit that like button, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. We appreciate everyone coming in. It's glad to see you. Hi, Renee. How you doing? Looks like we got a raid. Somebody's raiding us. Excellent. Hey, there's Expedition Greg. Hi, Greg. How are you? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to our live stream. This is our second real live stream. And um, geez, it's really good to have you folks here. I'm glad you're here. Um, like I said, if, you, if you're not subscribed to our channel, we are the Astute Tourist, and we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you guys can get not notified anytime we do put out a new video or when we're going to do a live stream. And today we're just, um, Gracie's from the Philippines. How are you guys making out there at the Philippines? Do you have enough? Do you have enough food? Do you have enough supplies? Um, what's things like over there with the, um, what's going on with the virus? And we're not going to talk too much and go into too many specifics. We're just talking about supporting each other and, uh, practicing good, um, good sanitizing and um, social distancing techniques. Um, you know, they're telling us to stay within six feet of each other and not to handshake and uh, clean the surfaces, uh, your doorknobs and your light switches and whatnot. I'm glad to see you guys in. We really appreciate it. And, um, you know, if you're seeing somebody in the chat, you know, I don't normally do a growth stream, but please, I encourage everybody to... Uh, to help each other out. Again, I'm, we're all about helping each other. And um, even, you know, during normal times, we should be supporting and helping each other. Um, but especially right now, we need to help and support each other a little bit more. So, but do it right. You know, um, you should know how to do it right. And uh, please don't put any numbers in the chat, no spamming in the chat. Uh, you know, don't say sub or I got you. Just go ahead and if you want to let somebody know that you've um, gone to their channel and you become part of their family, go ahead and throw a heart up in the uh, chat. Let them know. And um, we really appreciate everybody coming in. What's up, Tur? We got you uh, and uh, Jasmere's in the chat. We got, uh, let's see, who else do we got here? J&M Travels. How are you, my friends? Uh, they're somewhat local to us. Good to see you guys. Hi, Luciano. And uh, Gracie again, it's good to see you. And um, yeah, yes, I yeah, honestly, I hope that they we get this virus killed soon and we can all get back to normal. Like I said, um, we really need to help each other out during these times, so. And let us know how you're doing. Um, what's the grocery stores like and, and uh, things where you're at? I'm here in the Northeast of the United States, and, um, you know, things are okay. Uh, there's been a little bit of hoarding going on. Uh, seems to be a toilet paper shortage around the country. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but um, you can't eat toilet paper. But, um, you know, if you are going out and you're getting your supplies, just get what you need. You know, do your regular shopping. And uh, get what you need when you need it. And then, you know, go back out next week and get the supplies that you need. And that way, there'll be a little bit of everything uh, in the stores to, to help um, other folks, especially our seniors around. You know, they have the hardest time. And it's not always good for them to get out. And they may not, they may be on a limited budget. And um, they may not uh, be able to afford everything that they need. So... Um, you know, let's leave some things on the shelves for them as well. And uh, if you have any neighbors, uh, we call them shut-ins around here. They're usually seniors that have trouble getting out, and they are your neighbors. You may want to check on them, maybe give them a phone call, or um, you can knock on their door and then step back. And when they open the door, just ask them if there's something that they need. And if they do need something and you have a little extra, you can leave it on their doorstep. Um, you don't have to go right up and be in contact, physical contact with them. They're saying that a good, you know, six foot separation between people right now is a good thing. And, um, you know, it's, it's what we need to do. And if we, if we practice and get in the good social distancing habits now, this virus won't survive and it'll die uh, 
fast enough, and then we can get back to our our normal our normal stuff that we do. I know here in the in in the Northeast, again, I'm I'm an essential worker, so I go to work every day. I work in healthcare. I work for the fire department, so I'm doing emergency medical services as well as uh, fire suppression, and hopefully. Um, you know, we'll keep both down to a minimum, but it's what we do, and we're here to help each other. But if everybody does their part, and um, and you keep that distance and no handshaking, make sure that you're washing your hands constantly. It's a good idea um, to keep yourself clean. Like I said, the CDC's website has really good tips on what you should be doing. If you um, if you are going to work. Uh, let me know what you guys do for work and um, what is it like there at work or if you're working from home. I know uh, most of the schools are closed now and the kids are using um, the internet to get their studies. And uh, there are some folks that are taking the time to go through their studies with their children at home to make sure that they're getting their homework and their schoolwork done, which is a great thing. My kids are all grown up, so... We don't need to do any of that here, but, um, you know, we like to call our time at home our staycation, and I hope if you're taking your time and you're hunkering down at home that you're not, um, you're not uh, doing too many chores. Again, things need to get done, mostly cleaning and disinfecting, you know, the doorknobs and the, the hard surfaces, countertops, light switches, like I've been saying, make sure that you take care of those, but... Um, Um, do something fun. What are you doing? Let us know in the chat what you're doing. Yep, Alex is saying that fresh produce is the way to go. Blueberries, if you can get them, uh, have a high immune support. Um, I have noticed around here that um, even though some of the meats have been limited, fresh produce is, is a cup, it's there, it's in good supply. Um, we got plenty of vegetables and fruits, um, and we're getting what we need here. Again, the paper products and the disinfectants and antiseptic seem to be at a minimum, but, you know, like I said, if you just get what you need and you don't hoard up on this stuff, and then when you get the stuff home, use it sparingly. You know, if, you, if you're if used to taking two paper towels off the roll, just use one. Um, you know, that way things will last a, bit, a little bit longer at home. And uh, glad to see you guys. We really appreciate you coming in the chat. And like I said, if you um, if you haven't hit that thumbs up yet, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to uh, the Astute Taurus, please do. We, uh, we try to put a video out at least um, every week or so. And um, it's usually travel stuff and destination videos. Um, we're gonna be limited to a lot of uh, local stuff now. And uh, Alex in the chat, I like his idea. He's heading over to the seacoast a little bit later this afternoon. So that may be something that uh, Colleen and I are going to do. Maybe tomorrow we'll head over, we'll pack up the video equipment, and we'll head over to the beach and see what it's like over there. Again, uh, it's not quite spring here, um, but it's right around the corner, and the days have been getting warmer. So maybe that's something we're going to do. Let us know what you guys are doing. Um, what are you doing to pass the time at home? Um, we, um, we've been doing lots of stuff, watching movies, and, uh, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. I love to edit my videos and produce videos, so I spend a lot of time doing that. For me, that's a lot of fun. Um, now, JNN, are you, you guys, are you in New Hampshire as well, or are you next door in Vermont? Um, I know New Hampshire, you know, that it seems like the same stuff's going on. The paper towels are gone and the toilet paper. My goodness, I just don't understand the toilet paper thing. This virus is not an intestinal thing. Um, and I don't know, I guess people, maybe they're insulating their house with it or, or (laughs) I'm not sure what they're doing with the toilet paper. Um. Once this is over, I think they're going to find that they're going to have a lot of toilet paper to themselves and uh, they won't need to be buying it for a while. But um, 
you know, uh, I'm not sure what they're doing with that, but let's leave some on the shelves for the other people, especially our seniors. Um, we need to make sure that we take care of them. I know as a kid, my grandparents and uh, my older aunts and uncles, they're very important to us. They taught us a lot. And, um, you know, they treated us well as kids. And, um, and uh, you know, it's time for us to pay it back to those folks, even if they're not related to you and the, your neighbor and you have some senior people in your neighborhood that may need a little extra help. Again, you don't have to be physical with these folks in order to help them. Even if it's just an encouraging word, give them a phone call. Uh, or, like I said, you can go knock on their door and take a step back six or eight feet. Ask them if they're okay. You know, see if they need anything. If you have a little bit of extra of something they need, leave it on their doorstep. Let them know that uh, you're there for them. Okay, so, yeah, Jayana, you're in the Monadnock region, so you're not too far from us, over on the western side of the state. And, um, yeah, um, I, I heard on the news yesterday that the supply chains are there. They're just having a hard time because people have been buying up everything off the shelf, and mostly the, the paper products and the, um, and the antiseptic wipes. Um, so... You know, if you're used to buying four or six of those items, maybe you want to just get two or even buy one and then, you know, go to the store a little often to get them. You know, go once a week. Do your normal routine. That's what I'm trying to tell everybody, and that's what we're trying to do. Um, that way there'll be a little bit of stuff left on the shelf for everyone. After all, we are in this together, and if we can't help each other, then, you know, we might as well be damned. Um, I'm all about loving your neighbor and helping each other out. It's something that we got to do. We really do. Hey, Daydream About Nice Things, how are you? Thanks and welcome to the stream. We appreciate you. appreciate you coming in. Yeah, going to the store for the seniors and buying local, right? And some of them do have free delivery. Um, I know with uh, some of the local restaurants... Um, they are clearly not open for dining and they've resorted to doing takeout food and some are delivering and it's good to support our local stores. Like I said, if you can avoid buying on some of the big online chains uh, for the stuff that you use every day that you can buy local, really go out and support and, and give our local, um, our local neighbor business people the, the help that they need. Um, this is going to be tough for them as well because... You know, they're limiting customers coming into their stores or they're closed down and they're only allowing for takeout. And I think some people are afraid that they're even afraid to buy the food. And look, that food's being cooked. You don't need to be worried about buying the food. Um, I know that we, uh, we get takeout all the time and we love it. And uh, we appreciate our local restaurateurs and our local grocers um, and our local store owners. Um, it's it's we're in this together and we got to help each other out it's it's very important yeah so you're talking about the um the uh chloroquine or the hydrochloroquine um i know some of it goes by uh they have their their product names i know one is uh plaquenil um and it's a drug that's been out since World War II. They used it for malaria. And um, I heard stories as well um, uh, about the south of France. Uh, Luciano, I, I heard the same thing, that the south of France, that they've had some good results with the drug. I know that uh, the president was just on TV a couple days ago talking about it here in the U.S. And... Um, they're uh, going to start allowing the hospitals uh, uh, to use it um, to hopefully um, give some of the folks that have the virus some relief. And, um, you know, let's hope that this works. Uh, it's anything is a good thing, I guess, as, as long as it's going to help. So let's um, let's make sure that that uh, let's make sure that that hopefully will work out and it's going to be good for people. Um, 
and um, people are going to start to get better. Um, you know, I know Italy, they've, they've been hit hard from what I'm being told. They've, they've gotten hit hard the worst out of most of the countries that are dealing with this um, in the world. And my, uh, my prayers and thoughts definitely go out to everybody that's dealing with this. Um, but on the local level, we got to help each other out the best that we can. And, um, and uh, help each other and be good neighbors. Even if it's a kind word, like I said, if you know somebody's a little, little bit uh, down during these times, look, we can all be upbeat and uh, there's no reason to get down. If we practice the, the good hygiene and the good social distancing um, practices, um, we're going to lick this thing and we'll get rid of it quickly. Uh, I think it's uh, something that needs to be done and we can do it. It's, it's not hard. Um, Yeah, I don't know, Alex, if, um, if that has any malaria components in it or not. It may. Um, from, what I, from what I was told, and again, I don't want to try to give any misinformation out here. So if you go to the CDC's website, I know that's a good place to go. Um, and your local state, if you go to their government page on the Internet, um, I know that you can get some good information from them as well on what to do. But as far as good hygiene, I mean, we've been being told that since we were kids. Clean, wash your hands, don't touch your face. That's a good thing to do. Um, but um, who knows, hopefully that this, uh, this malaria type medication is, is gonna be a wonder drug for this stuff and it's gonna kill it quick. And I hope that people get, that have it, they get better quickly. And um, uh, you know, God bless everybody that's, that's having to deal with this and God bless us all. Uh, but um, we can help each other, like we said. It's it's important to um, to help your neighbor. I'm all about that. We're in this together, folks. And um, if we can't help each other, then we're we're all doomed. So, uh, but we got to be healthy in order to do it. So, I'm with you, JNN Travels. I wanted to warm up. Uh, they're saying that. Um, they're saying that uh, the warm weather, too, is supposed to be helpful to combat the virus. And uh, taking long walks is, is a great thing. Um, one of the t tips that they're saying online is if, if it's warm enough to open the house up, open the windows, get some fresh air, um, especially if somebody's sick, the fresh air is good for them. You know, maybe you can bundle them up and have them sit outside for a little bit in the sun or just open up the window where they're at and get some of that fresh air in. It's supposed to be really helpful. I know that uh, I have the window open right now. It's a little warm here in the uh, studio and um, the fresh air is, is good. And it's um, over here where we're at, we're in the Southern, uh, Southeast of New Hampshire. It's probably about gonna be 45 or so today. Um, it's certainly not uh, too warm, but um, I'll take it over 20 degrees any day. Uh, winter is still with us, but it's, spring is right around the corner. Um, and if you can get outside and you can do some hikes and you can travel uh, around locally, you know, without getting into too much contact. I know where we live, we have a lot of, um, there's a lot of water here, a lot of lakes, and there's a lot of trails around that you can take the dog or go for some short local hikes. Uh, that's a good thing to do. Some runners, uh, biking as well is a good thing to do. Um, what's everybody doing at home to keep the kids busy? Anybody doing anything at home to help uh, with the kids? Keep the kids uh, from going stir crazy? I know... Uh, a lot of people do crafts with the kids. Um, crafting is a good thing. Yeah, kids like to draw and they like to write. And they like to build things. That's always something good. I got my uh, tiki drink here. You know, we've got ourselves an island feel. You know, we got the music in the background. And 
We got our uh, window out on the uh, to the ocean in the Caribbean behind us. And uh, that's something you can do too to keep your keep your mental state good is, you know, pretend that you're uh, taking a, a vacation. That's why we wanted to talk about staycationing. Um, there's a lot you can do if you have kids. And uh, you can plan a movie night, like a movie theater night. And I uh, know with a lot of some of the televisions, they're pretty light and they're big. You can bring it outside. And a lot of these smart TVs, you don't even need to connect any cables to them. You just plug them into an outlet. And if it's warm enough, maybe go outside and do a drive-in night with the kids. Um, and uh, they can watch their favorite movies. I don't know if camping outside right now, unless you're in a warmer climate, it's a good thing to do. I know right here <clears throat> in a tent would be really cold. So camping may not be the thing to do, but uh, you can also uh, read some books. You know, have them read. Do the kids read? Yeah, so what do you guys do for work, JNN? I know I'm an essential worker. I'm in the healthcare field. Um, I work for the fire department, so um, I'll be going to work every day. And uh, we, we practice uh, good hygiene um, at work constantly. Um, we do it anyway during you know the normal times, but even now um, we're more diligent than we've ever been when it comes to uh, making sure that we practice good hygiene at work. Like I said earlier, um, I have a good supply of Lysol at work and um, I spray down the doorknobs and the light switches, wipe everything down the minute I get into work, I'm the first one there. Um, you know, the handles on the toilets and the sinks and um, the faucets, I wipe everything down. The surf, hard surfaces, the tables and the countertops. We disinfect everything. And, um, you know, that's what we can do. We don't shake hands. We make sure we wash our hands constantly. Um, us at work, of course, we have what they call universal precautions anytime that we uh, deal with patients. We have rubber gloves. We wear safety glasses. We have masks that we wear. Um, you know, if, if you're going out in the public, a, a mask is not going to help you. Um, you know, just keep the distance from people. You don't need to be wearing a mask around. Now, if you're sick, um, you may be a good idea to wear a mask. That way, if you do sneeze or you're coughing, you're not going to uh, put some of those aerosol stuff from your body into the air. Um, but um, for the most part, I think if you keep the distancing from people, six feet, bring a little bit of um, sanitizer with you. If you go to the grocery store and you grab the cart, clean the handle off before you, you know, you touch it. Um, if you have gloves, you know, maybe something you want to do. Um, I've seen people out wearing rubber gloves or just regular cloth gloves. You know, it will certainly help, but you got to make sure that you dispose of them after the fact. Um, and know how to take them off. Um, believe it or not, there's a right way to take the gloves off. So uh, just, you can go online, you can find out how to do just about everything today. Um, yeah, I don't know about, you know, the moisture and using the heat and the saunas and things to help. Um, that's certainly something that could be out there. Again, I don't want to give any misinformation out there. Like I said, it, the CDC and your local, uh, your local states' uh, websites, those are the places to go to to get, um, you know, the right practices to do. But there's, um, there are some home remedies to make yourself some antiseptic hand uh, uh, sanitizer. Um, Okay, so yeah, so you, your wife work, works in a nursing home and, and you're, you do computer work for the government. Yeah, so you guys are essential for sure, especially your wife. I'm sure she knows all about uni universal precautions and, and um, using the right hygiene practices. 
Um, that's one thing that, you know, that I've done my whole career. Um, so it's nothing new for me, but for most people that, you know, that have different jobs and they're not in healthcare or they're not that type of essential worker, it may be new for them. I highly recommend the CDC website. It's a good place to go to. Um, Luciano says that Washington State seeing a coronavirus curve starting to flatten and level out. Well, that's good because I know here in the States, um, I think that was uh, one of the states that had the highest um, uh, 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 amounts of people that have contracted the, um, the virus. So that's good news. Hopefully, you know, not sure what it is that's, that's flattening it out. Um, maybe it's all the social distancing now and that we've closed uh, some of the borders and things. Um, hopefully it's, it's going to get better here in a few weeks. Uh, I know we're, we're not uh, certainly out of the woods yet, but as we go, I, I don't think we should panic. And, you know, fear, fear is not a good thing. Sometimes the media, you know what, they're, they're in the business of making money and they sensationalize a lot. So, like I said, go to the source to get the right information. Center for Disease Control, um, go to WHO, which is the World Health Organization, and your local state's uh, websites. Those are probably the best places to get the right information on what to do. Um, but again, at the local level, I think, you know, doing the social distancing six to eight feet away from each other, you know, wave hi to somebody, say hi to them. You don't have to shake hands. I know it's hard. Um, I almost did it yesterday. A uh, gentleman put his hand out and I kind of did the old, oh, yeah, well, we're not going to do that. And we kind of laughed. And, um, uh, and it's not funny, but, you know, it's, we caught ourselves and... Like I said, I saw a video where Prince Charles was, um, he was at some uh, awards thing or something going on over in, in England, and he kept putting his hand out and catching himself, and then he would, he bow to the folks to say hi. So we just have to be diligent and make sure that we practice these hygiene techniques and make sure that they're proper. And again, if you have a cold or a cough, cough in your elbow, off onto a cloth or a tissue. <clears throat> um, it's important. Oh, it's good to see we still have seven in the chat. It was nice. We had a little raid there for a while. That was fantastic. I appreciate everybody that's still with us. And um, so one thing I didn't say is if, you, if you'd like to share the stream out, please do. Um, this is new for us, so hopefully I'll be getting more people into the chat the more that we do this. And this is a unique stream for us. Uh, the first thing that we did was all about vacationing and destination tips. And um, our friends at JN JNN Travels, they're big cruise people, and I certainly uh, can get some tips and, trips from, uh, tips and tricks from watching their videos. And they're right here in the great state of New Hampshire, um, out on the, uh, in the Monadnock region. And um, I don't know everything. I'm, an, I'm new to this and new to travel vlogging. And um, I certainly get ideas from all of you guys out there. And um, it's always good, like I said, to support each other no matter what you're doing, especially now during these tough times that we're in. And, um, you know... Uh, again, supporting each other, in my opinion, is uh, what we need to do. Because without each other, we'd have no one. Um, you'd be all by yourself out on an island in that. Unless it's a tropical island and there's plenty of tiki drinks, drinks around, I think that would be a bad thing. Um, it's certainly good to be able to talk to your friends and neighbors and, and see them again. The last time I gathered with uh, any of my friends was um, on the 14th, and today's the 21st, so it was a week ago today, 
and uh, we did a quick St. Patty's Day kind of a gathering, but um, we would normally hit the bars and some of the local restaurants, and uh, everything was closed. So, and that was the last time that we really had any social contact with anybody, um, especially uh, close contact. So, like I said, if you can go around, maybe hit up some of your uh, uh, neighbors. Like I said, you could go and knock on their door if, and stand back a few feet, at least you know six to eight feet. Say hi to them, give them a wave, ask them if there's something they need, or give them a phone call. Again, Skyping and FaceTiming is a, is a good way to at least see somebody. My folks live in Florida, um, and they're elderly, so I check on them a lot. And it, it's nice to see them by FaceTiming them. It's, it's better than a phone call. And I know that they enjoy seeing us as well, so that's helpful for them. And it helps people's uh, mental state. You know, some people may be down right now, and they may be afraid and, and fearful of what's going on, but... I think if we, we, if we all stay diligent and we do what we're supposed to do, um, we're going to kill this virus and we're going to get back to being able to see each other again and shake hands and all the normal stuff that we're used to doing. Alex, I'm glad you're enjoying the chat. That's what it's there for. Um, that's how I can communicate with people when I'm in the stream because I don't get to, uh, I can't see you guys. I just see the same chat that you're seeing. And it's, I appreciate everybody for coming in. And um, we're probably gonna go maybe till about noon time. Get a, you know, give us two hours in the stream. But um, if anybody's uh, new to the chat or you wanna give us any ideas of what, uh, what you think we should be doing, um, what are you guys doing at home to pass the time? Anybody going out? I know that Alex said he's uh, going to head to the beach today. Um, I know that there's no spring break going on here in the Northeast because it's cold, so I don't think there's any worry about any partying uh, Gen Zers out there. Um, uh, but um, I'm sure there's some people around <clears throat> trying to enjoy the day. And, um, and um, if you haven't hit the thumbs up, give us a thumbs up, like the stream, and if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do hit the notification bell, that way you'll get notified every time we put out a video or we go live, and that's helpful. We're getting close to, um, to our goal of getting over 1,000 subscribers. We're just over 850 the last time I checked. So we're getting closer, but we still need to get a lot of watch time in, watch hours, uh, for us to be able to uh, monetize our channel, which is, you know, is a goal of ours. It's not a huge goal, but it certainly would be nice. Um, we've been on, the channel's been up on YouTube for a little bit over a year, um, about 54 weeks or so, and it's been great. We've been having a lot of fun. Um, Colleen and I have been out uh, traveling around the world um, a little bit until this happened, but like I said, we're going to still make the best of it. We're going to make some videos, and we're going to be going out and hopefully entertaining you folks, and you never know what you could find on our channel. I mean, we're local here. We have mountains, and we have the seashore here in New Hampshire. And if you've never been to New Hampshire and when things get better and it's safe to travel, you really should come. It's a small state, but we have a lot here. We have the mountains. Uh, there's hiking and camping. You can ski in the wintertime. Um, we have a lot of water in this state. There's fresh water. You can come and go swimming and fishing, uh, water skiing. We do have 15 miles or so of, of uh, ocean front shoreline where you can come and there's, uh, uh, you can go fishing in the ocean. There's plenty to do in the summertime. There's a boardwalk and there's a concert venue there. They call the Hampton Beach Club Casino. They have a lot of national acts come there. Um, I've seen all kinds of 
bands over there, Sammy Hagar and Ted Nugent and uh, many, many others. It's a great place to come to. So New Hampshire certainly should be on one of your lists of destinations if you've never been to New England. Uh, we border Vermont. We border Massachusetts. We border Maine. And we border Montreal, Canada, Quebec, Canada. Uh, so when things get better and the borders open up and, um, you know, we can do some more traveling, I really think you should come to New Hampshire. It's a beautiful state with a lot to do. And um, I'm not sure what I'm having for lunch, Alex. What are you having? It sounds like you're going to get a lobster roll. Um but uh, I don't know what I'm going to have for lunch. I know we got a bunch of leftovers in the fridge. That may be what I'm doing today. Uh, we do have the maple syrup. You are right. Vermont and New Hampshire both have great, great maple syrup. Um, you may be even having maple syrup today on your pancakes that came from New Hampshire or Vermont. Some of it does come from Canada, but... I'm a little biased. I think we have the best maple syrup here in New Hampshire. Um, I've made maple syrup. Um, it's a lot of work, but the result is delicious. It's, it's really good. Um, it takes about 40 to 44 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. Um, it, it, you have to boil it down. So it is a lot of work, but it's fun work. And like I said, the end result is, uh, it's delicious. It's, um, and it's not just for pancakes. I know that we, uh, we use it when we make baked beans. And there are some other recipes that uh, call for maple syrup. You can use it as a sweetener for your cakes. And um, looks like my light just went out. My battery must have died in my light. But that's okay. We'll uh, keep the stream going. So... Got a little dark. Like I said, we're going to go till about noontime. And, um... Oh, man, JNN. Yeah, huh? Isn't it fun dealing with the banks? Especially right now, everybody seems to be trying to do their business, uh, online business and whatnot. And, um, it can be crazy. Um, trying to get through... And get some um, get some of the uh, real human beings to deal with you, um, but stay diligent, stay at it. I'm sure that they'll they'll be up as soon as they can, and hopefully, I hope your money's not locked up, uh, or all your money's locked up. Ah, uh, leftover chop suey, Alex. Yeah, I we have some leftover food. I was talking about the bourbon chicken that uh, Colleen and my son made the other night. I know we have some of that left. Maybe I'll have that. Uh, we had homemade pizza. I made some gluten-free pizza, uh, um, which there's a few slices of that left. Maybe we'll have a smorgasbord of leftovers for lunch. And if I get a fire going, maybe I'm going to cook outside tonight. I, I have a tripod set up and I have a bunch of Dutch ovens and things, so that sounds like a good idea. I love to cook outdoors and I love that smoky flavor. Um, that may be just the thing I'm going to do, is, um, is get myself a fire going later on and, um, and probably cook outside. That's a good idea. Does anybody else cook outside? JNN, do you guys do any uh, cooking? I know you've done some camping. I've watched some of your videos, and I know you don't do a lot of camping. You're kind of like a lot of us older folks where we started out with the kids camping. It was something economical to do. And, uh, you know, the older we get, I can't sleep on the ground anymore. Um, and uh, an RV would be more of my speed of camping nowadays. Um but um, do you guys do any cooking outside other than barbecuing? I do have, like I said, I have some, I have a couple Dutch ovens. And one year we had uh, a storm here uh, that came through and we lost power for several days and it was over Thanksgiving. And I and cooked, 
I cooked the entire Thanksgiving meal outside in the Dutch ovens over the fire. I even made pies in the Dutch oven. We made an apple pie and I think a pumpkin pie. And I cooked those in the Dutch ovens. And that was, um, that was something I learned as a boy, as a Boy Scout. I learned how to use those Dutch ovens. And uh, it comes in handy, especially when we lose power. We have an electric stove. And um, I can't use, even with our small generator we have, <clears throat> I can't use the stove because it's a 40 amp uh, electric stove and my little generator won't support that. So, hey, we got a Coleman stove that we've had since we were campers and, um, and I, use the, uh, I use the good dry wood that uh, the good Lord gave us and we get a fire going. And I, like I said, I learned that skill of cooking outdoors when I was a young Boy Scout. And those skills have stayed with me uh, my whole life. So it's something that um, I, I like to do for fun. Um, so Alex, you're saying beef stew? That may be something I could do. Um, uh, that's a good idea, actually. I don't know. I know you mentioned chili earlier. I don't think I'm going to do chili. But... Um, the beef stew sounds pretty good. That may be something we can do. Um, I'm glad we still got seven in the chat. I'm glad you guys are with us. I started out, it wasn't looking good. I only had two or three when we started for about 20 minutes. And then we did get raided. And that was cool. I haven't been raided before, so it was good to see... Our friend's Expedition Greg come up, and uh, he's been a longtime YouTube friend of mine. If you guys haven't checked out his uh, channel, do that. He's a, he's a Disney vlogger, um, and I know his channel, there's not a lot going on with his videos right now because they closed down Disney World, um, and there's not a lot to talk about there. But uh, he's been a great friend, so you need to check out Expedition Greg. He's... Um, He's a great friend and, uh, and a good guy, and he's got some great videos. He does a lot of live streams from the Disney properties. And if you like Disney, I think it's something you'd enjoy as well. Um, but uh, it was really good to see lots of people coming in, and we're going to do more of these live streams. Um, I'm just getting the hang of it myself. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, you know, I didn't want to talk too much on the virus, but it kind of took a, on a life of its own. Um, we wanted to talk more about staycationing. And uh, there's lots you can do. You can do, um, you know, if you got kids and things you want to do, games are good. I know we have the PlayStation, but you may want to put the tech away too. They're suggesting pull out some board games. We always loved to play Monopoly, or we had the board game Clue when I was a kid, and lots of other board games that was always fun to play. Or pull the cards out, teach them some card games. There's some card games that are fun for children as well. Um, you know, you can camp out if it's like we were talking about camping. It's If it's too cold uh, to camp outside, and you get the kids camp out in the living room. You know, get the sleeping bags out. And, uh, you know, maybe you can cook some s'mores over the stove or light a couple candles and, you know, unscented, of course, and uh, make some s'mores and do some marshmallows over a candle right there in the living room. Just be safe with the fire, you know. You certainly could do it over the kitchen stove uh, and do some camping type stuff inside. And then they got the TV there, too, which you don't have when you're camping. You put on YouTube, you can get yourself a video campfire and put that up on the TV. That's a lot of fun. We use the video fireplace at Christmas time. Um, we put that on the TV while we're sitting around and having our coffee on Christmas morning. Um, although we have a real fireplace and we do like that. But uh, the video fireplace is cool and it's a long loop. Um, you know, you can see behind me, I got the my tropical island view. And that's a, right now, that's a YouTube loop as well. You know, big shout out to the YouTube creators and the people out there that, are, uh, that create and have creative souls and they put things out on YouTube. 
It's a lot of fun, I know, for me. And uh, Trivia games, yeah, Alex, trivia games are great. Um, they do have, um, I think there's some trivia games. You could probably find them online as well. I know there was one, I forget the name of it, but we, we had it on the PlayStation, and that's always fun. Uh, there's a game called Games Against Humanity or Games something Games for Humanity, and that's fun. That's always a fun game to play. Um, that's more of an adult game, but that's a, that's a riot. That's a fun game. Makes me laugh, that stuff. But, um, yeah, you know, try to find some unique and inventive things to do. You, you don't always have to plop the kids in front of the TV and uh, stick them in front of the PlayStation. Um, this is a good opportunity to just maybe sit and talk to each other for a change. You know, most of us are sit there on our cell phones and we thumb away all day long and we don't talk to each other. Um, how unique would that be to sit back and maybe have a conversation with your loved ones? Maybe you'll learn something new about them. I don't know. You know, there's, there's lots of ideas. I don't have them all, I'm sure. Other folks have ideas as well. You know, what are you guys doing? What are you doing at home? What kind of fun are you doing at home? Um, you know, we're just hanging out. Like I said, we're probably going to be here for another, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. I really appreciate each and every one of you and the folks that have come into the chat and uh, came onto the live stream. Um, like I said, this is new and I want to do more. Although we won't possibly, you know, do a growth stream. But I encourage everybody that comes in to go to each other's channels and support each other. I'm all about the YouTube community and the YouTube family. Um, we really need to support each other. It's important. You know, there's been some channels like Pussa Studios and Expedition Greg. Uh, they've been some great supporters and they've been a lot of help to us. There's another channel called Carolina Hillbilly 1961. Um, you should check him out. Big shout out to Carolina Hillbilly. He's a great guy and he helps a lot of YouTube people out. So if you're looking to um, get some supporters and to get some more uh, subscribers, check out these folks. Like I said, Pussa Studios. Um, they do a live stream, man, I don't know, just about every night. Uh, they're usually on around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you haven't seen them, check them out. A big shout out to them. They've helped me out a lot. I've learned a lot in the year, you know, the short year that we've uh, had our YouTube channel. And uh, I'm having a ball with this. Uh, this live streaming thing, like I said, is a new thing for me. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, Battleship. Uh, the kids had that. Uh, I had it as a kid, and, and our kids had it, Alex. Battleship's a fun game. I know they they had an electronic one, too, there that made sounds and things. We we just had the regular old analog one where you, uh, you know, you put your ships on the board, and then you, you know, you've used the, the grid system with the numbers and the letters to try to send torpedoes and bombs out and to sink your buddy's battleship. That's a lot of fun. There's a lot of good board games out there. They really are. Yeah, Alex, there are a lot of helpful YouTube channels. Um, there's so much. I watch YouTube every day, and I watch it a lot. Um, I don't watch regular television. I really don't, other than, you know, to get some news. I watch the local news. I watch a little bit of the uh, national news. Um, again, you gotta be careful. With any of these media outlets, again, they're they're there to make money. That's their biggest thing. It's it's not like the news outlets when I was a kid, where they were they were fair and they were balanced and they wanted to bring you just the information and not uh, you know speculate and have all these people that are going to give you their opinions. They just told you what was happening out there. It was the facts. Now it's hard to know what to believe. So I would say just take what 
what these uh, news outlets tell you with a grain of salt and certainly trust your instincts and, and common sense prevails you know sift through it so I do watch a lot of YouTube there's a lot of entertaining things there's a program called Good Mythical Morning I watch them uh, those guys are a riot and um, I'm a history buff so I watch uh, uh, there's one from the BBC which is it's not not aired anymore but you can find it here on YouTube it's called the time team they do a lot of uh, archaeology mostly from Europe um, but I'm into history I don't know if you've watched uh, our our videos from the um, ancient Mayan cities but um, we went to Tulum and Chichen Itza and I haven't done the Chichen Itza video yet so look for that one but I'm into history I love it I love digging up old stuff and trying to figure out what it is and how people lived that came before us and the technology they used there's certainly some baffling things that are out there so I watch a lot of those videos uh, being a musician there's a lot of music out there um, a lot of um, a lot of music videos and a lot of music on YouTube so support these YouTube channels if you do go to some and there's some that you like and you watch frequently I suggest you subscribe to them and uh, hit their notification bell and that will notify you uh, when they when they put out a new video and certainly uh, I'm no different if you haven't subscribed to our channel we would really appreciate it if you did and um, that helps us out that's supporting us and if you do hit that bell icon that'll notify you when we put out a, a video or we do a live stream and any any of our videos if you would like and comment on them that helps out as well and if I see that you've commented on our videos I'll definitely comment back I do my best to comment back to every one of the people that support us um, and we really appreciate everything that uh, you know you folks do for us to support us and like I said we're all here for each other um, without each other we'd have nothing you know um, we really need to uh, take the time to look after each other and say hi to our neighbors especially in some of the trying times and I'm not talking about just now but you know sometimes there's some natural disasters that happen <coughs> we certainly um, we certainly lose our share of power here. We have a lot of trees, we live in the woods, and we can lose power for, you know, three, four, five, even seven days sometimes. And, um, you know, I'm an old Boy Scout, but some people, they, they can't live without their internet for more than a few hours, and they get a bit squirrely. So if you check on them and let them know you're thinking about them, that may just help them in their day. You know we have to love each other and love one another uh, that's how we get get through life and it makes life a lot easier to help and support each other I'm all about that that's what our channel is I mean we want to bring you you know we do traveling and vacation advice but um, you know we want to try to help each other if you're looking for some place you may want to go and we've gone there and it's it's a, a, a cool place to go we certainly want to let you know and I'm going to tell you if there's some place we didn't like. Uh, and certainly if you watch our videos and there's something about them you didn't like, please tell us. We can only get better with the feedback that you folks uh, provide for us. Um, you know, we're always striving to make the channel better than, than what we are today. Um, and I want to bring you the best information and the best um, travel vlogs that we can. The best vacation tips and tricks, destinations around, you know, local and around the world. I know we got a lot coming up here once this uh, whole virus thing gets the heck out of the way. Um, there's a lot of local stuff we're going to be doing. The, like I said, the spring and summer are just around the corner. And we got a lot of outdoor stuff to do. We did a uh, snowmobile grass drag video. That's our most popular one, so I want to bring some more of those types of events back. Uh, maybe we'll do some motocross and, and some uh, jet skiing, that kind of thing to you guys. And hopefully, um, you know, 
you guys will enjoy that. If there's anything that you haven't seen on our channel that you want to see, let us know. Give us a friendly comment. And like I said, we take criticism, so if there's something that we're doing that you don't like or maybe something we should change, please let us know. Um, you know, it's important. I want to bring you guys the, the most accurate and uh, best information we can because without you, we wouldn't have a channel. And um, we love and appreciate each and one of you guys, and we really appreciate all your support for hanging out. Uh, like I said, we're going to be doing more live streams, hopefully, here in the future. I'd like to do one or two a week. The more, uh, the better I get at it, and uh, the more comfortable I feel doing it, I'm definitely going to do more. Um, we, um, you know, hopefully things are going to blow over soon with this uh, malaria drug that's out there that maybe, I don't know if it's curing people or if it's just going to help relieve people's, some of their suffering a little bit and maybe kill the virus, hopefully. Or maybe the distancing and the social distancing that we're doing and uh, the measures that we're taking is going to, you know, drive this thing out and kill it. Hey, Terry. Hi, Terry. Thanks for coming in. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. This is, uh, this is our second real live stream. And uh, I'm glad you came in. Um, hit that thumbs up for us if you could. And um, gosh, we really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well today, my friend. Um, I usually see you on early in the morning. I know we haven't been up much. Uh, we've been busy with all that's been going on. Um, I work for the fire department and in healthcare, so I've been busy dealing with, uh, you know, what's going on. But um, like I said, I want to try to, um, I want to try and uh, do more live streams um, and hopefully bring you guys some fun and accurate information. And maybe when we start hitting the road again, you know, we'll get some really good vacation videos. I'd like to go back down to Florida and, and do some Disney stuff. Uh, maybe some collaborations with some of our, um, our YouTube friends that we've had. Certainly Light and Love. If you see her in the chat, go to her channel. She's uh, uh, one of my friends here. Um, and she's, uh, she's got a great channel. Um, she's helping people all around this country. Uh, she brings you um, some really cool, inspiring videos and some words of light and love, and she's great. So if you wouldn't mind heading out and checking her channel out, please grab her up and subscribe to her channel. She does a lot more live streams, and um, she does more than I do. She's really good at it, so I hope that uh, I certainly can get a little bit better at it. Um, and we will be. Like I said, I'd like to do one or two a week <clears throat> and do some long ones. We're trying to get our, our watch hours up, but I know doing live streams help. Um, I'm getting close to being on for two hours, I think. Um, well, I certainly can. I was going to get done around noontime, Terry, but if I can stick around, if you want to share it out, that would be great. Um, we're just... Today we wanted to talk about, you know, what people are doing while they're hunkered down at home and how they're coping and if uh, the kids have driving them crazy, um, uh, you know, driving them crazy while the kids are home, uh, what they're doing to stay active if they're doing chores at home. Um, but I'll stick around and... Um, and uh, and maybe uh, maybe get some more people to come in. I don't mind hanging out. Um, I'm glad you came in. I appreciate seeing you, as always. And um, like I said, you're one of the first people I met here on YouTube when we started a year ago. Uh, if you guys, that, this is Terry from Light and Love. And you really need to check out her, her channel. Honestly, she's awesome. And she's very inspiring. And she's got a... A lot of inspiring messages to bring out to people. And she's all about the love as well. Like I said, um, supporting each and every one of us is important. We have to support each other. 
because without us, we'd have nobody. Um, and it's important that we support each other, and not just uh, uh, on YouTube, but like I said, at the local level, check on your neighbors. Um, it's okay if you want to go knock on their door, um, and then you can step back and you can use the good social distancing techniques, step back six or eight feet, give them a wave, ask them how they're doing. Use uh, Skype and Facebook if you have loved ones that live um, outside the area. You know, say hi to them. Give, them. give them a FaceTime. Let them know you're thinking about them and let them know you love them. Um, like I said, I, my folks uh, live in Florida and they're, uh, you know, they're seniors and they're doing great. Uh, but they like to see us, you know, um, they like to see our faces. It's one thing to hear somebody's voice, but, uh, um, uh, but it's good to see somebody's face. Um, it does wonders for somebody's uh, mental attitude, for sure. I know for me, it, it's, uh, it, it's something that helps me uh, when I see and I'm able to smile and say hi to somebody. Uh, and, and you see them, and it's not just hearing their voice. Um, I FaceTimed with my brother today. He lives a he lives up by the uh, the Lakes region in the same state, but uh, it's not easy for me to just drive over there. It's a little bit of a drive. So we FaceTime each other, and it's good to see him. Like I said, it's one thing to hear somebody's voice, which is good, but it's always good to uh, see somebody's smiling face. And maybe they're not smiling, and maybe by the end of your FaceTime or your Skype, they will be smiling by the time you're done. And I think that's a good goal to have. Thank you, Terry. I really appreciate that. Um, I love you as well, and I appreciate you. You've been a good friend and a good uh, supporter, and you've uh, taught me a lot of being in part of this YouTube community. Like I said, if you guys, there's six of us left, and if you haven't um, been to Terry's channel, Light and Love, please check her out and uh, give her a thumbs up and uh, support. Subscribe to her channel. She's great. She has a lot to offer. She's got a lot of great videos. Um, she's been a good friend and supporter for me. And um, there's others, like I mentioned, um, you know, Carolina Hillbillies one and Expedition Greg. Um, Mandy's Mixed Media, uh, Mandy the Mixed Media Queen, she's been a great supporter of mine as well, um, and I support her. Uh, if it wasn't for Terry, Light and Love, and, and Mandy, and Expedition Greg, um, I was laid up for 12 months. I got injured at work, and I was hurt, and that's what prompted me to start this whole YouTube thing, and they were three of the first channels that I found and um, they helped me get through my injury and helped me get through the, the so-called uh, yayas of sitting in a reclining chair for months and not being able to do much. But now I'm all healed up, my arms move, and uh, um, I'm grateful to have those uh, folks as my friends. And someday I hope to be able to meet them personally I certainly have seen them online and uh, through their videos. We've seen each other, but um, hopefully I'd, I'd like to personally meet each and every one of my friends out there. It's been a great time, and I love the YouTube, and I love my YouTube family. Um, it's a great medium. It's a great medium to have, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, yeah, so we're just hunkering down here in the Northeast. Like I said, we, uh, we try not to hoard stuff. Um, like I said, if you're making your way out to the grocery stores, you know, just buy what you need. Just buy the things you need for the week. Uh, you don't need to grab up all the food. Leave a little bit out there for, for everybody. There's a lot of us around, and there's some of us that have, and then there's some of us that don't have. All right, I think I'm back. I lost the stream for a minute. It looks like we're back again. Not sure what happened, but uh, we're back. 
So um, sometimes that happens here living in the woods. We'll lose our connection, but I'm glad you're there. I think uh, I think it's Santa Wolf. Hi, how are you? Thanks for dropping in. We appreciate you coming into the stream. Thank you so much. And uh, um, if you want to uh, uh, give us a thumbs up for the stream, that would be appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel um, and you'd like to do that, we'd appreciate that. Go ahead and hit that bell icon as well. That way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video or we do a stream. Um, um, we appreciate everybody for coming in. <clears throat> Forget what I was talking about before I lost the uh, before I lost the connection, but we're back. Um, like I said, sometimes that happens living in the woods. Um, we lose the connection, the wind will blow here, and the internet will go out. But um, it looks like we're streaming again. Everything looks good. And uh, yeah, like I said before, I was hurt for a while, and that's how you know I started doing videos with. It was something to keep me busy. I just started to edit, edit uh, some videos that uh, my wife and I made. And um, I met, uh, I met um, some really good people here that have helped me out. And now we're back at it again. Yeah, yeah, JNN. I think, you know, we do as well. I mean, uh, like I said, the window blow here and we'll lose the internet connection. Um, it comes and goes sometimes. I know right now with everybody being home too, there's um, there's a bigger draw on the uh, on the uh, uh, internet as well. Um, so maybe that has something to do with it. It's a beautiful day today. The sun's out and uh, it's a blue sky. So I'm not sure why we lost it, but I'm glad we're back. And at least we still got five with us still, which is good. And uh, we're going to go for a little bit longer. Maybe I'll go to about 12.30 now. Um, thank you, Terry. I really appreciate you. Thank you for coming in. And um, I'll see you. I'll come into a live stream that you're having. Uh, hopefully soon on your next one, I'll drop in and say hi. I appreciate you coming in. And um, I appreciate you sharing it out for me as well. Like I said, this is new for me. This is our second real stream, um, other than some of those tests and the mistakes that I did. Um, but I really appreciate you, and, and I love you. So thank you. Thanks for coming in. You have a wonderful day, and I'm praying for all of you guys today. Um, and uh, I hope everybody um, stays healthy and uh, you stay safe wherever you're at. Um, yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll probably go. I got 10 after 12. So we're probably going to go, I'll go for another 20 minutes. Um, and if there's anything you guys want to talk about, please bring it up in the chat. JNN, I hope you, um, I hope you were able to get a hold of your bank and get your account unlocked. I mean, that's got to be frustrating. Can't imagine going through, uh, going through that, you know, especially if you got to pay the bills and, um, you can't get into your bank account. Um, sometimes it's tough dealing with, with online people and computers and whatnot. I got my tiki glass. This came from uh, Sam Trader's Grotto in uh, the Polynesian in uh, Disney World. Um, and I bought that there uh, a couple years ago when Colleen and I um, went down there. In fact, uh, one of the videos or a couple of our Disney videos that we have out was the time that I bought I bought the mug and I guess these are collectors items on the bottom they have. yeah we lost the connection again but we're back maybe this will be uh, I'll try to make it to 1230 if I can it just went out again so um, but I was saying that uh, once um, Disney World opens up and Trader Sam's uh, Grog Grotto is open at the Polynesian Resort, if you get a chance to go there, you don't have to be a guest at the Polynesian. But what I do suggest, I think they open at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They're not open all day. So you should probably get there an hour or so ahead of time and you can get on a list. 
and um, they'll give you a time when you can come in because I think it's only they only have room for 50 people inside it's not very big but it's an incredibly entertaining as Disney is but if you like tiki bars and you like to have a, a nice cocktail um, it's a really, really fun place to go into. That's Trader Sam's Grog Grotto, located at the Polynesian Resort at Disney World. It's a lot of fun. Um, like I said, Colleen and I were there a couple of years ago, and uh, what a riot. It's fully immersive. Uh, the bartenders and waitresses there, they put on a, quite a show, and um, it's a lot of fun. Um, like I said, you don't have to be a guest of the Polynesian in order to um, to go to it. But I suggest you get there a little early, get in line, and get on the waiting list uh, to get in. Um, it's a fun place to be. I'm, I'm a big kid anyway. I like Disney World. I like everything about Disney. Um, you know, the older I get, um, I like to do different things there. Certainly, we, we like to go to the restaurants and... We try out some of the, uh, the the drinking establishments. There's a place inside the Animal Kingdom called the Nomad Lounge that uh, Colleen and I discovered. It's right outside of where the Pandora um, ride is and um, the Avatar Land. <clears throat> it's called the Nomad Lounge, and um, that's a great atmosphere. The Animal Kingdom is one of my favorite places to be there. Um, hey, Mr. Rich, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Yes, we're doing great. How are you doing today, my friend? I appreciate you for coming in. We appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Um, we're going to go till about 12.30. We, the uh, stream's been in and out. The internet has been in and out here the last 15 minutes or so. So hopefully I won't lose you. But we're going to stay here for another, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Um, we've been having a lot of fun. And this is one of my... Um, my first stream, so thank you, Terry. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I really do. Um, yeah, this has been fun for me. I liked, uh, I'm really getting into doing the live stream stuff. Um, I'm a talker anyway, so I uh, hope I'm not boring people, but we started out talking about, you know, what's going on in the country right now, and, you know, I don't want to bring everybody down by talking about the same stuff, and you know, if uh, we're here up in the Northeast, we live in New England, and uh, it's just starting to warm up here. We're in the 40s, typically averaging right now in March. Uh, you know, we, we've been spoiled. It's been a mild winter. Um, we did have snow, and um, the last of the snow in my yard is pretty much gone. Uh, it's been in, like I said, around the 40s, 50s averaging during the day. We have had some 70 degree days, which has spoiled everyone because, um, you know, then it gets cold and everybody starts to get angry because it's cold. Well, it's it's still winter on the calendar. Um, spring has just arrived. Um, oh, thank you, um, Terry. Thanks. Um, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's still winter here, so, you know, 40, 50 degrees, I'll take that because it, it can get below zero here where we live in New England. And um, the older I get, the worse I, uh, I, I like the cold. I don't tolerate it as much. So um, I may be moving down south to some of the places where you folks are from. Let me know uh, where you're from if you live in the south. Um, I would like to come and visit and maybe check it out because we're going to do some research on a new place to live where the winters aren't so bad. Thank you, Mr. Rich. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you for sharing us. Um, and, uh, you know, if, you, if you've come in and you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, we'd appreciate that as well. Um, we're trying to do what a lot of uh, YouTube folks are doing. We want to try to get up above our 1,000 subscribers and... Um, and get our 400, or I'm sorry, our 4,000 watch hours. Uh, that's why, one of the reasons why I started to do our live streams, because I know that's a, a big way to help us meet our goal. I mean, I certainly want to continue 
uh, with as many subscribers as we can, but I know it takes a lot, and um, and we're doing good. We've we've been a channel for just over a year now, and I have over 850 subscribers, which is great, and we appreciate each and every one of them. Um, again, uh, what they say is it takes a village, and, and here on YouTube, we certainly have a great village of supporters and people that uh, support each other, and. Um, we really appreciate that. I, I know that um, uh, most of you guys, we do this and, and we uh, support each other. And I'm just happy that um, uh, that I have some good friends that I've met. Richard from Alabama. Excellent. I haven't been to Alabama yet. And it's one of the states that I do want to visit. Now, I know I, I don't think it gets too cold there in the wintertime. Um Certainly up here in New England, we get a lot of snow, and, uh, and like I said, it gets below zero. We're about a four-hour drive from the Canadian border. Um, it gets cold up here, so I definitely want to, um, in a year or two or so, it all depends on how life is, but um, our, 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 a goal that we want to meet soon enough is to... Maybe um, pack up things here in New England and, and move somewhere where the winters are a little bit milder. Um, I know uh, for us, the older we get, um, the colder it gets. Just dealing with the snow and the ice is, um, it's not fun, especially driving in it. It's, it's a pain in the butt. But, um, you know, we have friends that... Uh, live in South Carolina, I have friends in Kentucky, I have friends um, in Florida, and I've been to Florida, I've been to Kentucky, I've been to Tennessee, which is a really nice state, um, that may be some place we might think about it, um, Florida can be really hot in the winter, I don't know if that's some place where we'd like to hang our hat at some point, but you never know, um, you know, part of this uh, this travel vlog is traveling and when we can get the opportunity I'd like to go to every state in this country but especially the southern states so that I have a place to um, uh, maybe find a place where we can uh, maybe buy a, another place to to live like I said where the, the winters are a little bit milder and uh, who knows Alabama may be that state I've never been I'd like to see it <clears throat> I haven't been to Texas yet um, so that's another state I'd like to, to go to. Um, I would certainly want to be somewhere within half an hour to an hour drive of the ocean just because I'm close to the ocean here and I've grown up around the ocean. And um, I enjoy the salt water and the seacoast. Uh, I need to be around some, some water for sure. Uh, New Hampshire's full of lakes and freshwater ponds. We do a lot of boating and swimming. I know in Florida, you go swimming in a lake, you may have some friends there, alligators and things. Uh, we don't have that up here in the Northeast, so. But uh, we can't go swimming right now, for sure. Uh, some of the lakes still have ice on them. Um, hi, Darren's Travels. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Oh, wow, you're lucky, even Hawaii. That sounds awesome. Oh, thank you, Terry, for the advice. Yeah, I knew that live streaming was, uh, was the better way to get your, your watch hours. Um, we're not quite at 1,000 uh, subs yet. Uh, we're making our way. I'm very proud of the progress we've made in just a year's time. I don't know if um, 850 is good in a year or not, but uh, to me, I didn't expect to be have this many subscribers. Uh, and we appreciate everybody that's come in and has uh, subscribed to our channel. Um, but I do want to do more lives. I'd like to do, you know, at least two a week if I can. And we'll do some long ones. 
I know, man, there's some people out there, they go 8, 10, 12 hours stream sometimes. I'm not sure how they do that. Um, although I've been at it for about two and a half hours, and it's gone by pretty quick. Oh, I bet. I bet, yeah, five-hour drive's a long drive. Um, that's definitely worth spending the night if you drive uh, five hours to the Gulf, but... Um, I have friends that live in um, Naples, Florida, right there on the Gulf side. And yeah, it's pretty there. And Colleen and I took a cruise in January. We went to, um, we went to Mexico and we, um, we, uh, I'm changing the music here. Uh, we went to Mexico and went to, um, to the Yucatan. And that was a lot of fun. And that was, uh, you know, we were out on, on the Gulf itself. And it's um, a, lot of, a lot of fun. Um, it was a little rough. I guess the winter time out on the Gulf can be rough. It wasn't bad, though. Um, it was warm for most of the time. We, we were, uh, the port was out of New Orleans. So coming back, it got a little chilly. But, um, but coming into... Um, New Orleans um, was nice because we had never been there. So we got to spend, I don't know, two or about two days after the, the cruise ended. And that was fun. Um, okay, Darren. Yeah. Yeah. Two months. Well, I'm going to um, definitely, when I'm done with the stream here, I'm definitely going to hit everybody up. And um, if I haven't, uh, if I haven't made you part of the family, I certainly will. Um, and uh, welcome. I'm glad. And it's in your another travel vlog, which is good because um, I certainly get advice. I'm not, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not an expert traveler for sure. And um, I definitely get tips and tricks from everybody. Um, Okay, Terry. Yeah. Now, Kona, where is that? Where is Kona at? I'm not familiar with that. Is that in Florida or is that in Mexico? Um, I'm on both. We're both on Instagram and uh, Facebook, and we're on Twitter. You can find us on the Astute Tourist. Uh, under the Astute Taurus name, we have a Facebook page, we have an Instagram page, and uh, we do have a Twitter. So I think we got most of the social networking um, covered. If there's anything else we should be doing, somebody mentioned TikTok. I'm not familiar with that, but I think that's a short video thing. Um, but uh, we're trying to get, get good at it. Thank you, JNN Travels, for coming. Um, we appreciate you guys. I'm glad you liked the, the stream. And, uh, you know, look for more. We're definitely going to um, uh, do more for sure. So before you go, hit that bell icon if you haven't yet. And that way, um, that way um, you'll see when we're on again. And I certainly will. I want advice from everyone. You know, if there's something you see that we're doing that you don't like, let me know. And if if um, any advice on any travels you've been to? I, I watch um, several of your videos, so um, you guys have been a great help. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming in, and uh, we'll see you again for sure. Oh, Kona's in Hawaii. Okay. All right. Wow, you got a thousand in a month. Wow, you've been working hard. Um, I haven't been working that hard, I guess. So, but um, it's something that I do in the you know part time, and um, it took me a while to get the hang of um, you know finding out how you you can get more subscribers and and SEO and those kind of things too. Um, um, but I'm getting better at it, so. With advice from folks like you, you know, we, we do our best. Uh, I like doing the live streams. Um, it's fun. 
and I like being able to talk to people, um, especially the ones that I know that um, I've met through their lives as well. And I appreciate everybody's um, help and support. Um, it's, uh, it's a lot of work doing YouTube, but it's fun work. Um, I recently took some adult classes on becoming a video producer, and now I'm a certified video, video producer. So um, I've learned a lot in that respect. Um, I use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro as my editing software. I don't know what anybody else is using, um, but um, I use that, and I've got a lot to learn there, but it's a great program. There's a learning curve to that as well. Okay. All right. Good advice. Good advice. I'll definitely do that, uh, Darren. I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. I've seen people do like, like I said, eight, between eight and 12 hours of streaming. And I don't, I'm not sure how they sustain that as well. And then I've seen other streamers, they'll do these silent streams, and, and I don't want to do that. I'm, I mean, what good is that? You know, you're just, to me, that's cheating. I'd rather at least entertain people, at least try to talk to folks. Um, I'm, not, I'm not down with the, the silent stuff. I mean, um, again, like I said, I, I don't know, who am I to judge, but... I'll just keep doing what we're doing and I take advice like, like you said. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, um, yeah, we're going to probably end the stream anyway. I've been going for about two and a half hours. We started at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, but I'm glad you guys came in. I appreciate each and every one of you, I, I hope you know that, you understand that. Um, you know, I, I've learned a lot from everyone, and uh, thank you, Terry. Please do. Please do. I look forward to it. When I finish the stream, I'll, I'll look for the uh, message. Um, like I was saying, I'm probably going to finish it up here for today. Who knows, I might be back tomorrow. I, I've had a ball here today with all of you. Um, and I really appreciate each and every one of your, you folks, and I appreciate your support. And if I haven't been to your channels yet, um, after we're done here, I'm going to go through the chat, and I'm going to go to everybody's channels and uh, make you all part of the family as well. Like I said, without each other, we'd have nothing. And... I'm not talking about just uh, YouTube, but I'm just talking about as, as human beings. Um, we have to support and love each other. Without that love and support, we'd be nothing. You'd be alone. And uh, being alone is not fun. I know for me, it's not. I need to have social interaction with people, especially the people that we love. Um, so I'm glad you all came in. Um, we love you guys. We, um, well, let me do this now before I go. So I'm going to hand out some wrenches here. So Terry, I made you a mod and Darren, I appreciate you for coming in. So I'm going to make you one as well while I got you here. So thank you. Terry, thank you. I will. I'll give Colleen a hug and um, certainly give everybody a hug for us and say hi. I wish everybody um, uh, a safe and a, and a healthy day. And I hope everybody stays, stay in, stays safe and healthy in what they're doing. Again, without each and every one of us, we would have nobody. And it takes that village to help support one another. So thank you again for so much. Thanks for coming into the stream. We love you guys. And, um, you know, I, I guess we're going to see you guys again. I know I'll see you again. 
So with that said, I'll leave you with this. I'm Jimmy, your astute tourist. We'll see you later. <laughs>